The Predict Wind Weather Router is a super powerful tool that gives you the ability to safely and efficiently navigate the weather using the world's best weather modeling technology. This tutorial will cover using the weather router on the Predict Wind Forecast website. On the Predict Wind Forecast website, go to Tools, then Weather Routing to open up the weather routing page. At the top of the page, we can select routing preferences. This is where you can set up the performance polars for your boat, the depth you want the router to use, motoring settings, and ocean current model selection. Polars are important for the weather router to be able to give a more accurate reflection of your boat as it travels through the weather systems. You can select a predefined polar from the list, or use the sail option which is a basic polar setup if your boat is not on the predefined list or there is not a similar performing design. Power is for power boat routing setup. We also have an advanced option where you can create your own advanced polars or edit a polar from the predefined list in a table format to give a more accurate representation of your vessel's performance. In this tutorial, we will select from the predefined list once selected, the polar will transfer across all Predict Wind apps, including the offshore app. For making simple adjustments to the polar, you have the option to adjust the polar speed by a percentage. If, for example, you are delivering a boat short-handed and expect the boat performance to be slow by 20%, please apply 80% to the polar speed adjustment. You can make these adjustments for upwind and downwind. You can also set up a motoring option for light winds. The router will assume we are motoring at x knots when boat speed is less than x knots. The router can avoid shallow water to give you a more accurate calculated route. By setting the depth to 5 meters, the route will not go into water less than 5 meters deep. We can select from a number of depth contours. If your start or finish waypoints are in too shallow, the router will move them to deeper water. It is very important to always use charts and navigation tools to confirm your route once you have your proposed weather route. Professional subscription users can turn on ocean and tidal currents and then select which current model they want to use in the weather routing calculation. Another key feature of the routing is the choice of routing for the fastest route or for comfort. In the comfort setting, we can select parameters that the router will try to avoid. The minimum parameters are 25 knots and 2.5 meter swell waves. Returning back to the weather routing map page, you can drag and drop the green start waypoint and the red finish waypoint to your desired locations. We could also position these using GPS coordinates by clicking on the waypoint icon and entering the latitude longitude of your start and finish positions. You can also add port and starboard rounding waypoints if desired. Ensure all your waypoints are well in the water. To add a boundary, click on the boundary icon. Click on the map where you want to add a boundary. You need to make it a closed shape. Once you have the points on the map, you can move each point and add a latitude longitude if you wish to be specific. To delete the boundary, click on the center and delete. We will leave the boundary in place for this example. You are now ready to calculate your weather route. Click on Calculate. Your route will be calculated using your polars and will show six routes which relate to the six weather models. When you click on the weather model from the bottom right, we get the control panel pop out. Here you can make changes to the display. ECMWF is black. UKMO is yellow. Spire is orange. PWG is blue. PWE is red. GFS is green. We also have other display controls. Map display types are streamlines. Wind barbs with color contours wind arrows with color contours. Parameter selections are also changed here. Wind, rain, cloud, 
air temperature, gust, cape, and wave. The animation play speed is also changed in this pop-out. Click X to close. The wind maps that are displayed relate to the model and the associated weather route. For example, if we select the PWE model, this corresponds to the red track and the boat is displayed on the active route. You can choose to turn off one or more of the displayed routes by clicking on Toggle Routes. Click on the tick box to turn on or off. Click X to close. To animate the route, press the play button. You can also control the display with the time slider or the forward and back arrows. By clicking on any point on a weather route, we get detail for that point on the weather route. At the top of the screen, click on Tables. This has detailed data of our weather routes for all models. We have graphs, wind, summary, route, wave, atmosphere, and current. We also have the export function, which allows us to export the weather route in several digital formats to be used in navigation software. Click on the map button to go back to the weather routing map. You are now ready to try the predict wind weather routing.